Hey, my friends, Derek here from Bomb Socks with more Bomb Bites, where we feast upon the words of Christ one bite at a time. So yesterday we were focusing on how the Lord requires the heart and the willing mind. We talked about forgiveness, how that is a big part of this. Another big part of this is found in today's lesson, and we're just going to jump right into verse number 22. After that day, I, the Lord, will not hold any guilty that shall go with an open heart up to the land of Zion. For I, the Lord, require the hearts of the children of men. Please keep that in mind. Verse 23, Behold, now it is called today until the coming of the Son of Man. And verily, it is a day of sacrifice, a day for the tithing of my people. For he that is tithed shall not be burned at his coming. So, you've probably seen this before. Here's your, your nine dimes and your one dime right here. This is tithing, okay? So here's the Lord saying, okay, you pay your tithing, you won't be burned. So, let me just show you a question here. It says, how will the earth be burned when the Savior comes? And why will paying tithing be really good, quote, fire insurance for us, right? Because we think about this burning that will take place. In fact, if you really want to get crazy with it, look at verse 24. For after today cometh the burning, and this is speaking after the manner of the Lord. For verily I say, tomorrow all the proud, they that do wickedly shall be as stubble, and I will burn them up. There's your warm fuzzy verse. Uh, for I am the Lord of hosts. I will not spare any that remain in Babylon. Babylon is a representation of the world. Wherefore, if you believe me, you will labor while it is called today, right? So what's interesting is you look back to that verse 22. It doesn't say, I, the Lord, require the tithing of man. He says, I require the hearts of man. Because when the Lord comes to this earth right here, what happens when you get a celestial being, meaning this bright celestial person who comes to a very telestial earth? The earth is going to just burst into flames. It's not that Jesus is going to come with a flamethrower and start torching the place. That's not how it works. He will come in his glory, and his glory is celestial. And so if we're not living a celestial type of life, then we're not going to be able to handle that burning. It's going to be, it's literally going to happen. We're going to burn. So if we are living that type of a celestial life, then we'll be able to abide that day. And tithing is one of those things that really will help us. It's a, it's a, it's a sacrifice. It's something that causes us to forget about ourselves. And the Lord wants our hearts. He really does. He doesn't need our money. I promise you that. God does not need your tithe. He can build temples, all that he wants there. I always believe that tithing is one of those things that it's God's excuse to bless me. He's looking for reasons to bless me constantly. He doesn't need my money, but I need to be able to pay tithing. In fact, let me show you some verses right here that I think will definitely help you out. Here's a little scripture chain about tithing that has nothing to do with tithing, okay? So you got, first of all, 1 Nephi 3, 7. You got John 14, 15. You got Jeremiah 32, 27 in the Old Testament. Might be one of my favorite verses ever. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And then you got Doctrine and Covenants 82, 10. So if you'll just take a few minutes and study out these verses, I want to come back and let's really talk about why the Lord asks us to pay tithing when he really doesn't need it from us. So go ahead. Okay, so hopefully as you saw those verses right there, you saw that tithing really has nothing to do with money, but it has everything to do with obedience. It has everything to do with, you know, if you love me, keep my commandments. That Jeremiah 32, 27, I love. It's like, I am the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Meaning, look, you need those blessings and I can help you with that. And I require the heart so that you can be able to do that. Again, he doesn't, it's not a transactional type of thing where you do this, I do this. But the idea is, I need to be able to give to him. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust him. He knows what he's doing. And then that Doctrine and Covenants 82, 10, the Lord is bound when we do what he says. So anyway, I, I hope that helps you understand a little bit about why the Lord, he wants us to be able to be here when he comes. He doesn't want to burn us up, but that's going to happen if we don't live that type of a life. So if you're not paying tithing, start paying tithing. And again, if you don't have a job, maybe this is a time where you really start building up a, a testimony of tithing. And it is pretty easy to bear testimony of tithing when you're not making money, right? But you start making that money, then all of a sudden that tithing becomes a real thing. Pay it first, pay it fast. Not because God needs it, but you and I need to be able to give to him and to be able to give him our hearts, which is what he asked for. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing to our channel and thanks for sharing these messages. You guys are awesome. We will see you tomorrow, section 65. Godspeed. Bye-bye.